Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I had a request about how to get GNOME on top of Linux Mint. And uh, so since I already had Linux Mint in a testing environment in a virtual machine, I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. And it turns out that it works and it actually works very well. Part of it may have been the kernel. So uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is we'll kind of walk through how to, uh, how to update the kernel and um, then we're gonna go ahead and install GNOME on top of Linux Mint Cinnamon and of course we are using the 19.1 beta for this video. So now we are over here and uh, what I am going to want to do is I need to install the Ubuntu kernel update utility. So I'm just gonna do a search for it, UKUU, and then this is going to get me a list of different things. I'm gonna see if I can find the guy's original website uh not actually seeing it so let's go with i don't actually think this is it <laughs> pretty sure it's not in fact uh, let's go with the i think omg ubuntu will probably give us a good way to do it all right so in this one here basically what we're looking for is we need to grab a repository and this is that repository that we need. Make sure we grab the whole thing here. Of course, make sure that anytime you are adding a repository, you know what's going on. This is adding um, TJ2008 PPA, which installs this uh, GUI kernel updater. You can actually update the kernel in the terminal, but this gives us a nice graphical interface. So here we're going to install it. It's gonna ask us, do we want to do that? We'll hit yes. And then now we will do a um, update. And then it should be UKUU as the application we're going to install. So sudo apt install UKUU. This should ask me yes. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and exit. I can exit out of that. And then now what we are going to do is load the UKUU, Ubuntu Kernel Update Utility. And what this is doing is it's updating the cache and grabbing all of the available kernels for the Ubuntu system. So that same set of instructions is going to work on any Ubuntu-based system. And uh, what I did in my initial test is I just went with the absolute latest kernel, 4.19.7, which worked pretty good on this system. Go ahead and enter our password, and this will take about three or four minutes to complete. Okay, so now it says it is uh, it is completed. Uh, anytime you're making changes to the kernel, you have to reboot the system. So we're gonna close this application down, and now we are going to go ahead and restart the computer. Okay, so now we are back to our login screen. We are logging in. And now let's go ahead and just show you the system information. Uh, so this will show and confirm that we are now on kernel 4.19 on Linux Mint 19.1. Of course, this is still the, uh, the beta for Cinnamon. So the next thing we are going to do to install GNOME is we are going to go into our software sources. And uh, you can actually add repos in the terminal or you can add the repos in the software sources. So this is of course the repo that we just added. So we are going to add two and we need to add PPA and it is called gnome3-team forward slash gnome3. Hit enter there and then this is going to give us uh, our repo information and we are going to add another one and this is going to be ppa colon gnome 3 dash team forward slash gnome 3 dash staging okay so now these are added we are going to go into our terminal we are going to do a sudo at update. You'll see that it is updating the packages, which included up at the top. Um, oh, there they are, including in the mod in the bottom actually. Um, our GNOME updates. So these are updating, 
and it is done. So now we are going to install two packages. One of these is going to be GNOME and one of these is going to be the GNOME shell. I'm going to install them separately. Of course, we have to do apt install GNOME. Now, some of the instructions will tell you to install just GNOME shell. They're not telling you to install GNOME as well. You actually need both of these in this instance. So the first one was GNOME. And this will take just a moment to install. And then we will do the GNOME shell. And that one will take a little bit longer to install. So here it's actually asking us about the, uh, this is the, um, the display manager, which is the, the graphical login. So this is going to give us the option. Uh, it doesn't matter if we pick GDM3 or LightDM. I'm going to stick with LightDM because it's one that comes with Linux Mint. I'm used to it. I like it. It looks cool. And so um, uh, I'm just going to stick with that one. Okay, so now we are going to do GNOME Shell, just in case that did not get installed along with it. So it actually did come along with, with that. The instructions that I've seen say to install GNOME Shell, and that does not install everything you need. So now we don't need to reboot, we just need to log out. This is going to take us back to our login screen, and now we can pull down this menu and we can pull down GNOME, GNOME Classic, and then here's GNOME on XORG. So uh, I actually did my original testing and I'm going to believe that since that said uh, GNOME on XORG and I picked the one that just said GNOME that this is probably going to be Wayland. And uh, what I found is that uh, the system was actually extraordinarily snappy for GNOME. Uh, especially running inside of a virtual machine. So we did need to install uh, the tweak tool. One of the things I noticed initially is um, it did not actually um, update my catalog on my first test. You'll say like I'm trying to install the tweak tool and it says it's not there. Um, so not sure what's going on with the software manager. Uh, no big deal since we are still running on Linux Mint. I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the one that originally comes with Cinnamon. So, it says GNOME Tweaks is already there. I didn't think it was installed. Oh, it is installed. I didn't think it was. Okay. All right, so now that we have our GNOME Tweaks, I can go ahead and turn on my desktop icons. Um, I like my network. Let's see, home, trash, mounted volumes. Yep, I like all that kind of stuff. Uh, you'll see that it is uh, probably... Um, might be a little bit too large for you. That's okay. I'll just go ahead and, oh, wrong button. I did not mean to install the software center. I'll do install this guy here. I'm just holding, um, hold the control button, squ scroll your wheel down. That's going to get you your uh, sizes. You can do this also autumn, uh, not quite as automatically like this. So there we are. So now we are running GNOME. You'll notice it is, uh, it is a fairly snappy system. Uh, let's see, there's Firefox. Let's go ahead and boot that up. One of the things that I am noticing is that uh, uh, the hot corner up here is not active. You actually have to come up here and click the activities instead. I'm sure you can make the adjustments to that if you know how to run GNOME. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. But that is how we can get GNOME on Linux Mint 19 Beta. 1, 19.1 uh, beta. Uh, you will notice uh, through this video, you'll notice that the constant notification about the internet was kind of up and down and up and down. Eh, that might be a bug on this beta. Uh, I've observed it all over the place. But here we have everything uh, seems to be running very nice. Um, it is running on about, uh, it's about 1.3 gigs of RAM last time I saw. Let's see. So yeah, running about 1.3 gigs of RAM. Uh, it is running very snappy, so as long as your system has more than two gigs of RAM, I'd say I'd say you would not want to do this unless you have at least four gigs. And uh, now we have this. Uh, I did not test it on Xorg, but uh, just uh, looking at it really quick over here, it's um, you know it seems to be running pretty well. So if you are really liking GNOME but you want to try Linux Mint, you can very easily install the. Um, and again, that PPA is the gnome3-team forward slash gnome and gnome3-team forward slash gnome3staging. And um, I'll put those in the description down below. Uh, add those two PPAs, then you need to update your system and install gnome. Um, and that would be it. So uh, just keep, you can keep any of the, the two window managers, whether it's um, that. Oh, uh, one more thing. 
my apologies. I uh, did want to show you guys this is running uh, GNOME version 3.28. Go down to settings. There we are. So we are running um, GNOME version 3.28, and we are in Linux Mint 19. Point one, and I don't see the kernel here, but uh, the kernel is still the 4.19. So that is that. Let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Switched to Linux. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links at the top. There is another video over here. You can check out our Patreon page down here. And you can check out shop.switchtolinux.com for information on a t-shirt like this or some other designs. Thanks for watching and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.